there is need for peace, healing, and reconciliation in the Methodist Church in Kenya with immediate effect. All clergy serving in, K in uh, MCK Gassinond will continue working and will be supported morally, spiritually, and financially by respective circuits. Consequently, they are under MCK Kagasinond and not accountable to the conference until the current instrument is resolved. We really want to emphasize on uh, peace, healing, and conciliation. And uh, at this moment, we request our members, wherever they are, of MCK Kagasinond and the entire church to faithfully dedicate 14 days of prayer and fasting that will culminate in a Kaga Sinon service on the 16th of April 2023 here, Kaga Grounds. This will bring about unity of purpose for the common good of the Sinon and the entire community. Because community of Kaga Sinon, they are suffering of asking many questions that even we cannot answer. And therefore we are saying it is only through prayer, it is only through uh, coexisting well with our members and the community that will make the church glow. And we are saying on 16th, service will be attended by all members of Kaga Sinon, wherever they are, the 23 circuits, all local uh, church leaders, all evangelists, all uh, preachers, all ministers, everybody who is elected and who is the member of the full member of the Methodist Church in Kenya, Kaga Sinon, will attend this service. So we are expecting a service of not less than 20,000 members who will come for prayers. We forgive one another. We pray for peace. We pray for reconciliation. And we begin the journey of building Kaga Sinon and recover or um, bring the, the, the glory of the church back on the altar. Is uh, staying in the office longer than it is now. We will further disintegrate the church which is against the principles of evangelism and mission, which he emphasizes so much. So we call upon him to feel obliged to leave office so that the church can come back together. And all circuit synods that have dissociated themselves from conference office can come back to the connection. Two, uh, Kaga Synod, which is standing here represented by the delegates here, is forthwith dissociating itself from any activities of the conference until the stalemate is, is settled and until the church becomes one again and a new presiding bishop. Due to the misunderstanding and the irregular way and the uh, procedural manner in which the standing order, which is uh, purported to be there, standing order 2020, was done. We don't accept it. We don't recognize it. Yes. And uh, because he himself has done away with his 2015 standing orders, mm. And he did away with the 2012 standing orders. The standing orders that are varied and which we recognize are the 1996 standing orders. Yes. We are ready to go back into connection when Reverend Joseph Tombura leaves office and when the stalemate is over. And as a synod, we shall join other synods when the matter is settled. Otherwise, from now on, we are a Kaga Synod under the direction of our bishop and this standing committee. The constitution has not been given to members. The members have not seen it. What I know is if there is a new law and those people legislated for it are given free copies. Like when I was in parliament, we made the acts of parliament, we used to get free copies. The members of the uh, standing committee, the conference delegates, have not been given uh, this new constitution. They are being asked to buy, which has become commercial. 
uh, at 1,000 shillings. What there is in that one, because I've happened to, to be bought by one of his members, he bought, she bought me the book because I didn't want to buy something I did not participate in. It has a lot of new things, things we cannot dis, uh, perceive, like in deacons, deaconesses, that is a new term in the Methodist Church yes. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have this. This is a Presbyterian. It is not Methodist. So there are things that have never been discussed in this church by any members. It has never come. And then he has brought in courts, courts of discipline in the Methodist Church. We used to have disciplinary committees. Now he has brought the courts. So these are things that have never been discussed. Actually, he has tended to move out of our doctrines, to introduce new doctrines in directory.